and all might thy peace, O power of thy praise. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They have me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. For my love they are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer. And they have rewarded my evil for good and hatred for my love. Set thou wicked men over them, and let Satan stand at their right hand. When they shall be judged, let them be condemned, and let their prayers become sins. Let their days be few, and let them never take their office. Let their children be fatherless, and their wives widows. Let their children be continually vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. Let the extortion that catch all that they have, and let the stranger spoil their labor. Let there be none to extend mercy unto them. Neither let there be any to favor their fatherless children. Let their posterity be cut off, and then the generation follow, and let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of their fathers be remembered to Yahweh, the Hushua Yahweh. Let not the sin of their mothers be blotted out. Let them be before Yahuwah continually. And he may cut off the memory of them from the earth, because they remember not to show mercy for persecuted poor and needy people, that they might even slay the broken in heart. As they love cursing, so let the curses come upon them. As they delighted not in blessings, so let the blessings be far from them. As they clothe themselves with cursing, like with their garments, so let they come into their bowels like water, like oil into their bones. Let it be unto them as a garment which covered them for a brother where they grew continually. Let this be the reward of our adversaries from Yahweh, Yahushua, Yahweh, Let this be the reward of them that speak evil against our souls. We do thou for us, O power, the master, for thy name's sake, because our mercy is good, deliver thou us. For we are poor and needy, and our heart is wounded within us. We are gone like the shadow when it declined, we are tossed up and down as a locust on these, a weak, fashion our flesh, fell of fatness. We became also reproaching them, and looked upon us, they shake their heads. Help us, O master, our power. O save us according to thy mercy, that they may know that it is thy hand, and thou, Yahweh, Yahushua, Yahweh, have done it. Let them curse, but bless thou. When they arise, let them be ashamed, but let us, your servants, rejoice. Let our adversaries be clothed with shame, and let them cover themselves with their own confusion as with a mantle. I will greatly praise Yahweh, Yahushua, Yahweh, with my mouth. Yea, I will praise him among the multitude, for he shall stand at our right hand, the right hand of the poor, to save us from those that condemn our souls. Our Father, Yahuwah, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom will come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our sins, as we too forgive those who have sinned against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever, O my name. When you say that you're sorry, when you say that you forgive people, when you forgive enemies, when you forgive devil worshippers, when you forgive these evil people, what you're doing is you're bringing attention to them. The Heavenly Father ignores those demon worshippers, but when you forgive them, you bring an attention to them, and then when he sees how evil they are, he not only does not forgive them, but he kills them. on my previous video which makes me know I need to say this to you I want to come to you with this very important message no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper no weapon formed against you shall prosper I want to say that one more time no weapon formed against you shall prosper. As I was praying, I saw in the spirit that the enemy was forming weapons. He was 
concocting things, dubious things that were designed to ensnare you, to entrap you, to harm you. He was planning things behind the scenes for your very destruction. But I want to encourage you today, and I want you to know, beyond the shadow of doubt, that whatever the enemy has planned, whatever weapon he's formed, it will not prosper. In fact, the Bible says it very clear in Isaiah 54, verse 17. It says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And any tongue that rises against you in judgment, it shall be condemned. It shall be condemned. Then it goes further to say that this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And it said before that in Isaiah 54, verse 15 through, uh, I want to say verse 15 and 16, it says, well that whole, those, that whole like four or five verses, it actually says this, it says, they will gather together, but not by me. It says, whoever gathers against you shall fall for your sake. Then it says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Whoever gathers against you will fall for your sake. Hear me what I'm saying to you. In the spirit realm, the enemy has concocted weapons. He's concocted plans, schemes. He's, he's concocted things that he has intended to launch against you, intended to bring against you, intended to execute. He, he has an intent to execute these plans. He has an intent to deploy these weapons. But I'm telling you now, it's not going to work. He's going to plan it, but it won't work. He has scheduled it, but it's not going to prosper. It never said the weapon won't form. It never said that the weapon won't form. It said that it won't prosper. It never said the weapon won't form, beloved. It said it won't prosper. It never said that there would not be an attempt. It says it won't work. Hear this. This is not just some arbitrary message I'm sending you. But there is something you need to catch in this. You need to pray. You need to pray. You need to declare this. You need to decree this over yourself. The Bible says even the enemy is not wanting you to watch this video. Even the devil doesn't want you to get this message. He doesn't want you to hear it, so he's trying to interrupt it. It, it cut out like five times earlier. And it's trying to cut out again, but let me tell you something. It won't work. It will not prosper. Whatever the devil's trying to do against you, it will not succeed. Can anybody say amen to that? Can anybody share this with someone? Can anybody tag a friend who's going through a difficult time, who's going through a trial, who's going through tribulation, who's going through a challenge in their body, they've received an evil report, they've been accused, they've been lied on, they've been slandered, they've been discouraged, they've been depressed, they felt defeated. Can you share this with somebody? Can you encourage someone? Can you share this word and let them know that God is saying to them and to you and to whoever is watching that there's, there, yes, there are attempts right now against you in the spirit, but those attempts will not be successful. Those attempts will not be successful. And you're going to thank God, not, watch this, 
not just for healing you or restoring you from the damage. You're going to thank God for delivering you out of the snare. And my wife had a dream that uh, a, a bird was caught in the snare. The, the thought of the bird was dead. And all of a sudden, the bird flew away. I'm telling you something. You're going to, God is thwarting the attack. He's thwarting the assignment against you. He's thwarting it. The silos that are in, the missiles that are still in their silos, God is stopping them before they're ever launched. They won't make it to you. See, we don't realize there's so many things that God never allowed to even, even, even be executed against us. He never even allowed it. And this is one of those seasons where God is stopping the plans of the enemy before they're deployed. He's stopping it before it can ever be released. Are you hearing me? You need to be encouraged. Stay in faith. Decree the word. Decree that over yourself. Just say out of, under your breath, it won't work. Whatever the enemy's planning, it will not work. It won't work.